other keys, I still have one of these. All from right, this is years. interesting. Oh. All right, we got the, we picked so this up from awesome. a customer here. He says he came back from Florida with this. All right. Which he had found. You found this? No, no, no. Well, I found it in a in a, in a store. Yeah, in a pawn I, shop. Yeah. Okay, in a pawn, pawn shop. shop. So that's a pawn. Knife. Okay. Let's check this thing out, bro. So let's see. I don't think it'll cut. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's full of holes. See yep. that? It's full of holes. Yeah, I just got a big hole there. All right, so let's see. Maybe we do this, and we're going to check it for sharp, and that's like half sharp. Okay? You have to kind of help it. And I can feel a serious nick right there. There's a couple good, good yeah. in there. All right, so you can't run. Oh, I can see it, but anyway, it's right in there. There's a serious nick right in there. There's a bob back here but that's mainly just a nick out there. So we take it like this, set it down. That's hard steel. We put a little pressure on it and move right along. Go right on out. I'm gonna work on that nick just a little bit special. Right there. Come out here to the tip. Come back this way towards me. And because it is hard steel, I'm putting more pressure on it than normal because it's hard and it's a little dull. And then we just do this. That's, I don't know who made that knife, but I'll tell you right now, they didn't skimp on the steel. It's, I, I don't know. Uh, oh, well, it's 440 stainless. And that's actually pretty hard steel. A lot of people sort of cuss stainless. I like stainless because number one, it doesn't corrode and rust and it is hard steel. So just like that. Let's see what we got now. Okay, that is a whole lot better. Okay, that little nick, there's one, and then there's another one out there somewhere. So let's make it just a little bit sharper, and I'm gonna demo the little poker chip style. So I, again, I'm gonna set it down, do this. Actually, there's about four or five nicks in that blade. Yeah. So just it's like this. It's been well used in its your life. Yeah, it has. <laughs> I mean, it, it's a good knife and everything. They're little nicks. So it, they really don't mean anything. Unless you're cutting paper and see paper is so thin that it'll find the nick. If you're just cutting ropes and things like that, that's, that's perfectly bait okay. And fishing line and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> opening packages, all kinds of fun jobs. Yep, cutting your pork chops and steaks. And Done that as well. Yeah. Stuff. I do everything. <laughs> this, I don't care what it is. If I need to cut it, whether it's food or, or rope or. Uh, God, me and a cousin cut the head off of an elk with nothing but a pocket knife. He actually went, sort of wasted. Okay, you can't touch an elk in the woods without a, without a tag. Right. No part of it. You're poaching. Right. So if you Especially come across, here in Colorado. yeah, and, and this in Wyoming, you come across a dead elk. I don't care how it dies. If you want that head and you're hunting, you got to put your tag on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we were just out goofing off, and all we had was our pocket knife. So you take a six-point bull elk and cut his head off with a pocket knife. He reeks. He's been dead for probably two weeks. <laughs> My uncle was thoroughly pissed because it had to go home in the back of the pickup, and it just reeked, you know? And he told Wade, he says, you're wasting your tag. And Wade says, I want that head, Dad. I want them horns, you know? And so you twist it off and you cut. And I'll tell you what, you really have to work to get an elk's head off with a pocket knife. I believe it. <laughs> you do. I once found myself in a situation where I had to clean a mere, uh, mule deer with a trauma shears. A what? Trauma shears, like EMT shears. Oh, God, yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> trauma shears. One of those, and then the best blade guys, a um, little switch blade, like a little tiny pocket switch blade. Is all yeah. There. And I only carry. Oh, check out, check out that product over there, right oh, there. Yeah. This core Sorry, crap. Now that's some neat stuff too. Go uh, check that out. Yeah, they're uh, Exacto blades. Oh yeah. Okay, that that's sharp enough. Heck yeah, it is. All right. Sweet. Take your fingernail right off. <laughs> All right. And that is a neck knife, basically. Yeah. Or a back pocket knife. Yep. That's what I use it for. Thank yeah. you, sir. All right, will you take care? Uh, these are $25, $25. The biggest one's $25. The 